Hello guys, it is XPT1 Yankee here. And uh, I'm the guest today, Shro Superstar. Yeah, Shro Superstar and Zombie Killer were in this game when I played. Shro Superstar is pretty good, Zombie Killer is uh, also pretty good. But um, I'm bringing you 43 and 4 on Village using the M60, and that's one of the reasons why I posted this video. Because it's a gun that you don't see that much, and also I got a bunch of air support. And me personally, as a viewer um, of the bigger channels, I like to watch videos with a bunch of kill streaks and air support. Um, so let's get this started. As I said, I'm using the M60, and this was either my first or second game using this, and uh, I did pretty good with it. But the, I tried it again two or three games after I didn't do as good. But that happens normally when it's your first time using a gun. For me, my first game using a gun is normally my best. And uh, also, my first life is always the best when I'm playing Call of Duty. So, what gun were you using? I was using the Type 95 with red dot and rapid fire or just the plain red dot sight on it. And uh, personally, I like this gun a lot because uh, it's just really good when you get the long range of sights. It's really good to... Uh, use and course quarter combat if you get the first shot off normally it's about a one burst so you almost got the kill on them right off the bat and uh, a lot of people say it's a newbie gun but uh, in my opinion if it fits you and it's comfortable for you to use then go ahead and use it don't let other people tell you what to do yeah I've honestly never used or haven't used the type 95 a lot um I've heard with rapid fire it's pretty good I've heard it's almost full auto um so is it full auto because I have I'm totally unaware with this gun because I have no idea what it's like because I n almost never use it. Uh, so what is rapid fire like? Uh, rapid fire to me is, uh, I've never really like looked at this personally, so rapid fire to me is just, uh, if you have a decent trigger finger with this gun, it rapid fire helps a lot when you get in some of those close, sorry, close quarter combat situations and uh, you get off the burst a little faster with your trigger finger, so it helps. Yeah, um, so let's talk about this map. This map, I feel, is very good. Um, I realized this today. I probably should have realized it earlier, but as you can see where I just sent in my pred, on the, uh, side that I am on right now, it's almost completely open except for the caves on, uh, that one building behind me. But on the other side, on the other hand, it is almost all buildings. So I guess you could have sniper support on this side and like a rushing team on that side this I never put search on this map but I'm guessing it would probably be really good because of the uh, like mixing of snipers and rushers what do you think about this map personally I like this map it's definitely in my top five favorite maps of the game and uh, it's really good for really almost every gun in the game that you could put on it is a good gun for this map because it's not there's not a whole lot of long-range situations for snipers and uh, there's a couple of close quarter combats, like if you want to throw on the striker, or the submachine guns, it's really good for those too. Yeah, so let's talk about how the air support works on this map. As I said, on the other side of the map, where it's all clear, it's very good on the A side. But on the uh, C side, as you can see, um, when I'm in this Reaper, I don't get that many kills because they're all over there. And it's kind of hard to uh, navigate through them buildings, and it's always blocking your shots. But uh, what do you think about how the air support works on this map? Uh, I completely agree with you. Uh, if you're if the other team is spawning on the A spawn, that uh, you completely just mow them down with such with uh, kill streaks such as the Reaper and the AC-130. And uh, if you guys work up to the Osprey Gunner, yeah, you just mow them down. If they're on the C side, it takes a little bit of navigating to get around with all the buildings. But uh, once you go ahead and kill them once or twice with that air support, they're probably going to start spawning out in the open a little bit more. So. You get a lot more kills when that happens. Okay, so uh, let's now talk about the, uh, or let's talk about our favorite maps in this game. Um, my top five, I can't say these in order, but they would have to be like Mission, Dome, Hard Hat, um, Village, what I'm playing on right now, and uh, possibly Bacara, that's a pretty good map. And uh, what would yours be? Uh, mine, I don't know if I could say these in order if I tried, but, uh, I got Dome, Mission, Hard Hats up there, and Village, this map right here, and, uh, probably Sea town is a really good map, too.
Yeah, I forgot that. I also like Sea Town a lot. Um, what is your favorite, or what is your favorite map overall? And uh, what gun do you like to use on that? Uh, my favorite map, probably overall, I would say. Uh, it seems like I always do pretty decent on a mission, and I like using the submachine guns class on there. I either use the PP90 M1 with extended mags and rapid fire, or the MP7 with silencer. Those are two really good guns on that map, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, there's like a little pathway, if you guys don't know. And if you just, ah, uh, yeah, I'm being honest, I do camp. If you just camp that area, you can get a ton of kills. Um, by just getting them when they come around the corner. I normally use MP7. And, yeah, Mission is also my favorite map. And I use MP7, like I said, with a silencer normally. And I normally get uh, at least my pred at least once or twice. Normally, like, two or three times, actually. But, um, so, let's go to our least favorite map. Um, what is your least favorite map? My least favorite map in this game will probably be Downturn. Uh, I haven't played it much, to be honest with you, but it just seems like the map to me is laid out really badly with all the things that you have to climb over constantly. And there's not a whole lot of power points on the map, so, uh, it's really hard just to get around because you always seems like you're constantly running into something that you have to climb over. Yeah, um, I, my favorite, or my least favorite map, sorry guys, is, uh, what is it? It's like Kowloon. It's a uh, bootleg. Yeah, I don't like that. I know a bunch of people do like it and you'll disagree with me. That was actually where I got my uh, first game. That's where my first game I played and I actually did pretty decent. I believe I went like... Uh, 37 and like 9 or something. I was pretty shocked how easy it was to get kills. But, um, yeah, I don't really like that map. I neither, or I didn't like Kowloon. Um, so, let's go to how this Call of Duty ranks up with the other ones. Uh, how do you think it ranks up? Uh, to me, this, this game, uh, with Sledgehammer coming in, basically being a rookie to the, uh, series right now. Uh, you came in and they just, uh, I think they really wowed everybody. They did a really good job with the maps and the design and the guns that they put in the game. It's, uh, really balanced. And, uh, this probably have to rank in my favorite top three Call of Duty games. Probably with, uh, Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, of course. Those are the latest games, which I think a lot of people would agree those are really good games. Yeah, uh, I was talking about this earlier, how Sledgehammer came in as a rookie. And they, me personally, they've blown me away. Normally when a rookie, like, uh, team or company comes in, or editing company, uh, comes in, you know, they're normally not going to be used to what the viewers or the, uh, players want that much. And they haven't had that many feed, or much feedback. So I think they, uh, did an amazing job as a rookie. Um, so, my favorite Call of Duty... It would have to be Modern Warfare 2, guys. And I just love that game. Me, Joker, which is one of my other friends, and uh, Shro were actually playing that today. And I just remembered how many good times I've had on that. And I've actually played Modern Warfare 3 a lot less today than I've played Modern Warfare 2. And uh, Modern Warfare 2, I actually had uh, eight days of playing. But then again, I had it for a year now. So, it's still a lot. But that's basically the only game I played. And then Call of Duty or Call of Duty 4 would have to rank up there. And then Modern Warfare 3. Those are my top three favorite ones. I just love Modern Warfare 2. Um I also love the mode in Modern Warfare 3. How when you're in a good map, like I remember in Modern Warfare 2, we'd only be at 50 on our way to 200. And a guy would just send it in. Like say we were on terminal. And then I just wouldn't get a chance to do good. And I would only get, like, maybe, like, ten kills somehow. Like, I don't know, it just annoyed me. I just love the moment in this game. So, let's go to our least favorite Call of Duties. Uh, my least favorite Call of Duty would uh, probably have to be COD 4, just for the reason, because uh, when I first got my Xbox, it was kind of middle of Modern Warfare 2 days, and uh, never really had a whole bunch of time to play COD 4. I was playing Modern Warfare 2, and then Black Ops came out, so... Uh, Personally, I really like Black Ops. Uh, more of a rushing kind of game, and I'm more of a rush player to me. So, uh, yeah, COD 4 is probably my least uh, favorite Call of Duty game. Yeah, I 
don't agree with that, but my least favorite one would have to be Black Ops. I was only a uh, first prestige on that game, and I didn't play it that much. I felt it was too old school for me, because I got used to Modern Warfare, and I'm used to the new guns, not the uh, old guns. Like, I forgot what they were in that game. Like, the famous, or famous, some of you say. But, uh, yeah. That would have to be my least favorite. I like gun game a lot, though, and wager matches. And I love how they put them in private matches in this game. So, um, yeah. As you can see, it is just about to wrap up. And, uh, make sure to uh, click like, favorite if you really liked it. And, uh, this was XBT1 Yankee here. Yeah, show Superstar. Thanks for having me. Thanks, guys.